Hello, and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. In this video, featuring TaxCalc Accounts Production, we'll go through setting up a limited company and then setting up a new accounting period for that company. We'll also look at posting and importing financial data into the system to prepare the final accounts. We'll generate reports and look at the relationships between the notes and postings. Then we'll go into the final pages which involve check and finish, checking for errors and filing to company's house. We can access accounts production from the launcher on the left hand side of the dashboard. We can also access through Practice Manager. Find the client you wish to work on, check the status of any work, and from this point on the left hand side, click Open in Accounts Production. We can see we've worked on this client before for an accounting period 1819. Now we'll do the same for the following year. We'll roll it forward, the dates appear in here, and we're ready to go. Click on the period to work on and click Open. Now we're into the accounts production software for that client and period. Accounts production is very simply laid out. There are no complex menus across the top. We just follow the steps down the left hand side. The information pulls in automatically from the practice manager and then simply set up the accounts how you want. We'll pull in the details from last year's accounts where we were using FRS 1021A for small companies. If we want to switch to micro entities, we can here. Here we are able to mark the accounts as abridged and this will be reflected in the full report we will generate shortly. In company status, you have a few other options such as active, unaudited and so on. Audit status selects what we want to show. Please go through these options yourself when you create each set of accounts. At this point, we can tailor the chart of accounts for that client. If there's something of particular relevance, we may want to edit it, like a sales code. We have space to edit certain areas in the chart of accounts and make pertinent changes. The main screen we come to here is posting. There are two ways of importing information into the system. One is posting a batch. This could be a batch of trial balances, journals, opening balances, accruals, prepayments. Let's go for trial balance and call it TB 2019. Now we can start posting. Just type into the account name box, then type into the credit column. Using the tab key brings us to the next cell. It feels very much like Excel and hopefully very familiar. Go through, make the postings and everything should balance at the bottom. If not, we can auto balance to suspense account. Once we're all good, we simply close, save the work and we're done. We're not saving that work because we're going to import a trial balance instead. This can be done using our application programming interface with third party software suppliers such as QuickBooks, FreeAgent or Xero importing the trial balance with little manual interaction. We have further videos showing these functions in more detail. In this example, we've got a trial balance from a bookkeeping provider. We'll open this in Excel to see what it looks like. We can see it's made up of the account code, description or nominal heading, debits and credits in separate columns. To import, select Import Trial Balance. Here we have a third party drop down menu. This allows you to import a file from third party software instead of a CSV file. Let's select Import via CSV file as we have a CSV file ready. Let's locate our CSV file. This is done by clicking on Browse. Select the CSV file and click Open. We have a mapping system in place which maps the codes from the previous software into ours. New import maps can also be created. The software reads the file and only shows the codes it doesn't recognize. These are the unmapped codes. Simply go down the list and map anything across that needs to be mapped. In this example, everything is mapped and recognized. Continue through. Everything balances, which is a good sign. Click finish and it's imported. Here's our trial balance. The trial balance uses CSV files, so it's flexible in terms of the providers it works with. We should be able to get a CSV file out of any system. This is the notes section. Here you are able to go through the notes and make sure that they meet your requirements. 
This can also be done from the admin area of the software. There is another training video which covers this. Now we come to Check and Finish, one of the many unique error checking features within TaxCalc. Check and Finish takes us into the areas that need updating. We need to enter a date of signing, but the Check and Finish will look at many different aspects of the accounts which have been produced. To sign off the relevant areas, we simply click through. It's so easy. It takes us to the relevant area straight away. This is useful. A fixed asset code has been used, but no depreciation policy has been entered. We simply enter that there. Same thing for motor vehicles, fixtures and fittings, computer equipment, whatever it might be. Let's generate the reports. We can ignore this message for this demonstration. All the options are on the left. Audit trail, nominal ledger, trial balance, full financial statements, registrar financial statements, the reduced disclosure instead of the accounts that go to company's house, and lead schedules. Here you can see we have generated a variance report for the client and we could use this to offer advisory services. We'll generate the full financial statements. They come up here and generate very quickly. We didn't need to edit the notes through the notes window because we can do that on the fly. We can go in, tailor the notes, put some text in, and they're updated straight away. It's so easy to adjust a set of accounts. As we see in this example, we've posted a different trial balance to both years. There are a few more things we may wish to do at this point. For example, we can bring forward notes from previous years, print the report, and so on. That can be done through this area. We get a PDF copy, save it in the file system, and email it to the client. Various options are available down here. Lastly, back at Check and Finish, we have more options. One step here is create IXBRL accounts file. If we're using the corporation tax software within TaxCalc, we don't need to do that. It brings the accounts production IXBRL file into corporation tax for us. We don't need to go into the file system. We don't need to tag accounts manually. It's all done automatically, which saves you a great deal of time and effort. We can file to company's house using a very easy to follow wizard. Just click through here and it pulls in the presenter details. In this example, we've got a test filing option, but click file online and that'll go to company's house. So that's it. This has been a quick introduction to accounts production. I hope it's been useful looking at the various options. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.